Kenny Cranes are thrilled and excited to be part of the significant UK Defence Infrastructure Project. The scope of the project was to supply two 70 metre 100 tonne cranes and two 60 metre 20 tonne cranes. McLaughlin Harvey came to us asking about a project we'd already executed in Australia for building submarines and whether we could be part of a project with them to satisfy BAE systems in Govan where they wanted to build Type 26 frigates. The challenges on this project were to fit into the limited space on the wet basin side at Govan, um, a crane which could span two frigates in one continuous span and be able to lift components up to nearly 200 tonnes and then achieve all of the approach dimensions to actually build the ship right to, up to the limits of the doors on the building. This resulted in a very special design with a very narrow gauge for the cranes and a lot of design work to achieve stability and reliability of movement for the cranes while they were achieving these dimensions. The crane structures are 70 metres. Travelling them on the road is nigh impossible at 70 metres with the, the logistics and whatnot, so the decision was made to, to travel these up the Clyde. The cranes arriving on barges was a very good experience. The whole thing went very, very smoothly and uh, was, was seamless, uh, very professional. Everybody was so impressed with the offload of the crane and, and the, the delivery and how well it went. It's challenging for the actual construction of the crane. These are Goliath cranes, so there's a leg assembly, there's, there's temporary works designs that's, that's needed to be included in this installation method, so it isn't the run-of-the-mill kind of crane install, but as a company, to this stage, I think we've executed this really well. But the highlights for me has got to be the, the teamwork, the collaboration with, with all of us within this business, and the key milestones. The original going to site and seeing the fabrication, then the next key date, seeing the cranes on site, and then ultimately the, the cranes getting erected and put into the sky. So them have been huge ticks for me to, to see them points and feel that we've, we've achieved what we, we set out to achieve on this project. Uh, one of the things that I found uh, most interesting was that the main girder cranes was able to be built in the workshop in Finland, full size. And uh, what this meant was that when it came to site, it reduced uh, Coney Crane's build time on site and gave us, the contractor, more time on site to build. But my relationship with Coney Cranes here has been very good. I've found them very good to their word. They have delivered the cranes here on time. We've had two visits over to Finland and uh, the date was set very early in the, the contract here and the, the date was, was met and even improved. From a site presence and the delivery to this date, there's been challenges, but overall it's, it's come as a kind of a seamless project. You're not going to see many of this size throughout my career, so to be involved in one of these so early on is a huge bonus and to see our name across this crane structure is, is a huge thing and I'm very proud. This project showcases Cone Crane's worldwide production and design capacities. All of our resources building huge cranes, designing huge cranes and delivering them on site, on time, came into this one project. The prestige of building cranes to build Type 26 frigates that will protect our country is huge and I am so proud to have been part of this project. It's great to be selected as a partner really proud of the work's been done so far and to have the Coney Crane's name on such a prestigious project. Based on what we've experienced here with Coney Cranes, I would have uh, no hesitation in recommending them to, to other companies. Very good professional company and can deliver on what they say. Very good quality product and uh, you can see that looking at the cranes here today.